I know it's the holiday season, but I don't think this guy wants his call lights flickering too. Cool. All right. Guys, welcome back. Uh, 2013 Hyundai Sonata. And uh, we got some lights blinking. Actually, I left the headlights on. Customer's complaint. Headlights blink, interior lights blink, dashboard lights, they all kind of flicker together on and off. No rhyme or reason. That's not really rhythmic, it's kind of erratic, so. Um, let's fix it. Well, we'll do the basic. Uh, I'm not gonna get too complicated, I'm not gonna pull anything out yet. The only thing, I, and I really don't wanna touch anything. I don't wanna pull any panels down in case, obviously we inadvertently hit something. Happens all the time, right? Especially with electrical. Um, Just put them on, parking lights, headlights. Go for the obvious, right? I did notice you see that on the camera? There it goes. You can see that. When I put when it from when, when I switch it from off parking lights only headlights. There's a flicker right in between there. You see that? Do it again. Now it's not gonna do it. <laughs> there it is. Ah, oh, look at that. There's my high beams, they work fine. Come on, that easy? Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Do it! It just did it. You saw it, right? <laughs> It's nice having you guys with me. I ain't gotta talk to myself. I get to talk talk to myself. <laughs> I'm gonna need therapy after doing this. Come on, it's right there. And it's not gonna do it every time. You guys just keep watching me do this, right? I'm gonna have to edit some of this out. You're all sitting there going, get to the point already. There it is. Look at that. Woo, blink, blink. Hold on. Dashboard's doing it too much. Oh, that's exactly what it's doing. Oh. That's right here in the stalk. And I'm pretty certain if I take it apart and we start checking pins, we're not going to see anything because it's probably inside the actual encased switch itself. But we will, we'll just check it for powers and grounds. I'll get the covers off. I'll try to never assume. Make a buttocks out of me and me only. All right, cool. Let's get it apart. All right, here's our diagram. Um, Let's see, explain this. Simple enough, this is a multifunction switch. All our switch is really doing in this case, we're not actually powering any particular circuit. We're not sending, it's not like in the older vehicles before CAN networks where, we, where we, we would literally put the switch on, it would apply power to the headlight or the parking lights or whatever it, whatever it may be. In this instance, all we're doing is we have a ground here, a terminal one off the multifunction switch. There's also a ground here, Terminal 5, if it had fog lights, which it does not. So all we're looking to do is ground the signal circuit to the BCM. The BCM puts that over the network. I'm following the wrong, sorry. Where am I? Here we go. <laughs> Try again, trying to look through the camera and the diagram at the same time. Doesn't work. BCM interprets the signal, sends it out over the, over the network to... 
the IPS control mod whoop, the IPS control module inside of the junction box on the dash and then sends our signal out to whatever it is fog light headlight whatever it may be turn signal and that's the way that works so we're not losing one particular light we're losing all of the lights we're losing dash headlight turn signal my guess is somewhere right in here is where our issue is when we play with the switch we're losing this ground on this side inside the switch which is why we're losing everything it's flickering my guess is when we hit it with a meter I'm gonna guess that this ground is good but the ground signal is what we're losing which means it's breaking down inside of here that's my guess let's see how we do oh. alright sorry I didn't take you long for the ride uh, just taking this apart, I kept getting in the way, I kept getting interrupted. I'll probably get interrupted again in a second, so. Um, I'll catch up to speed though if you want. Not a big deal. Airbag comes off. Push the little pins in. One, two, three. It pops out, tilt it down. Um, take the horn off. Disconnect the horn. The two airbag connectors. Uh, I already popped the top cover off. There's a screw in the middle. Underneath, the top cover pops off. It's up there in the dash. That one right there. Um, bottom cover, obviously the one screw, and there's two more to go in this way. We're going to... Obviously, don't hammer on it. Take the nut off. Use a puller. It actually comes off real easy. Now we can take the other two screws out. Take the rest of this apart. Don't spin the clock spring. A little bit of rust, that's interesting. Let go. There it goes. Come on. Ah, there we go. Ah. Now the clock spring and then we can get the switch off. Neat, man. Some jobs are just not video friendly. Usually under dashboard and stuff we gotta film over my shoulder is uh falls well into that category. Alright. Sometimes you get enough wire underneath here. You can just pull it out and let it swing down. It didn't feel like doing that for me. But no. There it goes. Oh. I think it's just weren't strong enough to get in there. This little yellow clip, push this, actually, as I'll show you. Don't spin the clock spring. This little clip right here, just pull that down like that, and then it releases. This one's just regular push, pull. And this is what we're after. Um, I could have tested it before pulling it all apart, but it wouldn't have worked for video purposes and my gut tells me it needs it so I already have the part we're gonna test it just to prove it out but I think we'll be pretty uh, certain here that's that for light all right what was I clock spring came off yeah another interruption <laughs> it's all right. this pops out I am not going to unplug it, we don't need to, we're just going to pull this out over the top of it, at least I think I am anyway. Da, 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 da. And that, my friends, is a signal switch. <sighs> Multifunction switch. Get it right. All right. Da, 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 da. I took it out of the car. Just easier. I was trying to do it in the car. It's not going to happen. And it's getting late. And this is just easier to see. Um, like I said in the diagram earlier, 
we're just looking for everything's looking for a ground signal to signal the BCM to turn the lights on right terminal 1 is our ground terminal 2 happens to be for our headlights I figure I'll just pick one because all the lights are going out right so let's just pick that one right now we're hooked at the ground, hooked in the headlight circuit, right? We put it on. We're already seeing high resistance in it, which is a good signal, but let me just show you how easy. Just we're just gonna touch this and it goes open. And that's rough look. This is all I'm doing. And that was our flickering lights. That's it. We know for sure the switch is bad. This switch should be good. And because we're already set up, get this one out of here. Why not, right? Let's This baby in. Come on, get on in. Get on in. Come on, come on. Let's in. <laughs> I can't see for the life of me. There you go. Just one. That's two. That's way better, huh? And we can jiggle it all we want. Get rid of that. I'm sold. And here's the bonus. This came out of a Intermoto box, which is standard. Hyundai Kia, the Reeboks and Hyundai stuff. So 